Welcome to the presentation of the paper Explorations of Singing Voice Synthesis Using DDSP. This work started as a project for the Sound and Music Computing Master at Albert University under the supervision of Jumur Erkut. One aspect of neural networks that we find most interesting is the creative possibilities they offer, especially in sound. In this work, we present a lightweight architecture capable of generating sound-like utterances using a small dataset of unprocessed audio. We have developed two zero-config tools to train and use the architecture, so programmers and artists can experiment with it even if they don't have the means or advanced knowledge to install, train and use deep learning models. A very interesting project is the DDSP library from Google's Magenta team, presented in 2020. The library takes classical digital signal processing elements, such as filters, oscillators or reverberation and transforms them into a differentiable version of themselves, thus the extra D in the name. By making them differentiable, they can be used directly in a neural network using a standard backpropagation. The neural network will be in charge of generating the complex DSP controls needed to produce realistic signals. The timbre transfer demo is used as the basis of our work. In this demo, audio from a monophonic instrument is split into small chunks of 4 milliseconds. For each chunk, loudness and fundamental frequency are extracted and used to train a neural network. The network outputs the controls for a spectral synth. The loss function compares the spectrogram of the original chunk with the spectrogram of the output of the synth. The error is then used to adjust the weights using backpropagation. Once the network is trained, if we present it with a recording of a different instrument, the model will extract the loudness and fundamental frequencies. Afterwards, it will run them through the network and render the audio, using the learned timbre and the new set of loudness and fundamental frequencies. If we train the network with a violin concerto, when presented a recording of the human voice, Somewhere over the rainbow. The model will output the same melody from the recording, but played on a violin. For this work, instead of using a violin recording to train the network, we are going to use human voices. Once the model is trained, we will present a melody to the model to assess the quality of the results. The human voice presents several additional challenges, such as the variety of phonemes and how they come together to articulate syllables and words. A proper dataset should include as many phonemes as possible, sung in different tones, but we wanted to make things more challenging for the model, so we generated our own datasets. We have asked for, and also scrapped, audio from several sources. The audio is not preprocessed in any way. No silence nor noise removal, no level matching between clips, no equalization. We wanted to use audio as raw as possible. After training the model, we present a snippet of the song over the rainbow and the model will try to reconstruct it using the voice it has been trained with. For our first example, we have used 25 minutes of speech from a male English speaker to train the network. The problem at the conference, though, was that the big three ultimately wanted different things. And we got the following results. As you can hear, it sounds like a human voice. We have tried with different voices, such as female Spanish singer. Eres esa persona que se saca de su bolsa una manzana. That is rendered as. In the examples, some bubbling and stuttering is noticeable, as the current architecture extracts the timbre and tries to correlate fundamental frequency and loudness with sounds, but it lacks the ability to learn the sequences of phonemes that make up speech. We can combine different voices in a single dataset. 
For the next example, we have created one dataset that comprises two female Spanish singers and one male Spanish singer. If we transpose over the rainbow one octave down before presenting it to the model, the rendition will be played in the voice of the male singer. <laughs> If we present the original version, the resulting audio is a mix of the two female singers. Right now, the model is using just loudness and fundamental frequency. If we include additional information during the training phase, we can improve the reconstruction. Here, we will add a new input to the model, based on male frequency substral coefficients. The MFCC are computed, run through a recurrent neural network, and then the output is fed into the model, together with the loudness and fundamental frequency. We can compare the model trained without MFCC with the model using MFCC. Remember that the dataset is exactly the same. The only difference is the additional information extracted from it. The output is quite intelligible even if the model is trained with a Spanish speaker, using a limited set of Spanish phonemes. The DDSP architecture produces good results with very small datasets, between 10 and 15 minutes of unprocessed audio. The training process can be automated and takes around 12 hours in a ready-to-use environment. By providing additional information, audio quality increases, becoming almost intelligible. The correct phonemes start appearing and the bubbling effect is reduced substantially. The model's ability to produce such results with no additional conditioning is very promising and opens several avenues for exploration, research and creative usage. A link to the paper code, datasets, tools, and additional audio examples is shown at the bottom of the screen. We want to thank the authors of the DDSP library for creating such an interesting tool, the SMC conference for giving us this opportunity to show our work, the singers for the generous collaboration, and of course, you for attending the presentation. We hope this work sparks interest for artists and researchers. Please get in touch with us for further clarifications.